Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and um, I wanted to make a video to show you guys kind of how, uh, what, what are the things I buy and generally how much they cost. So in Japan, they're really trying to phase out the whole plastic bag thing. Um, I don't like, and they, they make you pay for the plastic bags. So that's why I don't really like using them. Um, and I use my backpack just to bring everything I brought, or brought, I bought me some peanuts, cashews, lightly salted. Dinner, I usually buy my dinner at the grocery store. It's usually something small like this. I always have milk or apple juice in my fridge, so this is important. My bananas that I have every morning, uh, my bread rolls that I also have every morning. Breakfast for me is usually one banana and two of these, like, bread rolls. <laughs> My sandwich, uh, sandwich bread, which I didn't put in my fridge, I don't know why I'm opening that. And finally, ham! Um, I always get the momo ham, or peach ham in English. I don't know why, but they got rid of the big pack. This is now, a, they have like the smaller pack now. And I guess, I don't know why they got rid of it. They have the other kinds of hands, hams in the bigger packs, but they got rid of mine. I'm so sad. So, everything, all of that was 1,677 yen, or just, uh, it's like, I would say under $17. Yeah, tell me if that's bad or good, wherever you're from. Where I'm from, it's it's okay, it's normal, I guess. Um, I, one day I calculated with my mom, who was living in America, and she said, yeah, that's pretty normal for food costs, and I was like, okay. Sorry for the super quick video, it's just something I wanted to tell you guys about. For some reason in Japan, the portion sizes of foods tend to be smaller. For example, loaves of bread, I've only seen a max of six individual slices of bread per loaf, which I think is really weird. And they're super thick too. I don't know why they do that. However, the expiration date on everything is a lot shorter. And I think it's because they treat their foods less with less preservatives. So they kind of have to slap on that really early really like quick expiration date and then just give you such small portions you always have to i'm literally crap literally like when my first two months here i was going to the store almost every night like it was part of my schedule going to the store every night just to get dinner and food for the next day the next morning or whatever it was kind of ridiculous and i started buying different foods and bananas and Stuff like that, though. So. Yeah. I'll show you my receipt, actually, so that you can see exactly the numbers and what I bought and how much each individual item was. At the top, we have the bread for 81 yen. Below that, we have the bread rolls, the butter rolls, as they're called, for 105 yen. And then we have the amazu chicken, which, is my, which was my dinner for tonight, so 250 yen. The cashew peanuts, <laughs> which were 537 yen, the most expensive thing on here. Uh, I didn't know they were that expensive. Oh my gosh, 537 yen? Holy crap. The bananas, which were 170 yen. The ham, that small package of ham, was 321 yen. And finally, the apple juice was 213 yen. Total, 1677 yen which I paid with my credit card. Um, 
if you guys like this video, please let me know. <laughs> if you want me to do more videos like this, or if you don't want me to do more videos like this, please let me know as well, either in the comments section or on Twitter. Um, I, just, I can't stand my hair. Like, it's not working. Surprisingly, this, the supermarket where I go to buy my food has a barber shop, like a salon, whatever, like a unisex salon. So maybe I might just go there for my haircut. I don't know. I'm really nervous, though, because my Japanese, I don't think, is good enough for me to communicate exactly what I want. I could bring a picture, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Peace, guys.